Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will show you how you can create the groups in Tableau as well as I will show you why we need to create the groups in Tableau as it is important to understand why part first and then we will see how part. Alright, so for that, first of all, let's create a simple metric. I am just taking the product category on the rows, these different product categories and uh, the sub product category to be precise and then the product category over here so we now have some groupings already uh, as per the uh, data and then let's take sales and uh, put it over here all right so what do we have is basically sales by these different products and uh, let's say we want first of all sort so if we are sorting you know the numbers have been sorted i just use this quick icon from this toolbar and now my data is basically sorted by numbers so why we need groups so we need groups to further refine our data that we have already imported in tableau so think about this let's say we have a business condition where we are looking at those categories which are our you know low sales categories and high sales category now these sales or these categories of sales are not available into our data and Tableau basically gives us an advantage that you can create the groups or you can create those categories even after you have the data inside the Tableau so that you don't have to go back to your Excel or to your database or anywhere your data source is and create that category. So, so think about this we have these office supplies group product group and for these these are the different product category now our low product categories are those where we have the sales from less than hundred thousand so all these rubber bands labels scissors envelopes and pen and art supplies all of these categories are having the groups or or the sales which is less than hundred thousand now let's say we want to create a group based on these on this rule and on these dimension so what we can do in that case is we can click on the rubber bands hold shift and click until the pen and art supplies and then as you can see we are get, getting this paper clip icon it's nothing but the option to create a group so once we click over here all of these items have been aggregated over here and their sum also have been aggregated to 266, 205. So, and here we have a new product category as well. So what we can do, we can click on this pill and uh, click on the edit group. Here we have the grouping option and we can see we the number of items which are in there. So if you want to create based on some dimensions, a particular kind of group, then that's how you can create it. Also, you can change the name. You can click on the group name and rename it to uh, Low Value Office Supplies. Okay. And then let me select paper. I am pressing the control key from my keyboard and then clicking on appliances, storage, binders, and something related to other binders. And again, clicking on this paper clip and again it has been grouped and i can go in click on the edit and say this as high value office supplies so so if you have any of such requirement where you know you want to further group your dimensions based on some sort of business requirement then that's how you can create it now the good part is this that we now have the product subcategory group as it is clearly indicating that uh, we have some grouped item and we want to see now let's say uh, later in the day or maybe in a week somebody wants to see what are in there into low value office supplies and high value then you can again take this product subcategory over here and now you can clearly see apart from office supply you have low value and high value and within the low value these are all the items that is there so if so basically that's that's how you can create it and i just gave you a very simple um, simple example obviously the question comes into the mind that what happens 
when we uh, when the category change let's say if some category over uh, in cup in coming months you know it is uh, giving us a sales of more than 100000 then you have to manually go in and and you know uh, change the grouping well that's that's true uh, unfortunately but uh, fortunately we have something called as sets which i will show you in the next video about how you can create a rule based sets or rule based groups uh, over there but if you have any such requirement where you want to further group similar dimension values then you can go ahead and use the group as a simple case that you can understand all right so that's pretty much all i have for you in this video about uh, a simple example of why and how we need to create a group and i will meet you in the new video where we will talk about sets